All right, here's a good question uh, to factor. Uh, careful when you're factoring is, it's always good to take out a common factor first. But that common factor has to be common to every term. So I can't just take an A out, uh, or I can't take an A out because there's an A there, A there, but there's no A on that one. So I can't take an A out. But I think I divide everything by 3. So if I can take a 3 out, I'll uh, put a 3 out here, and then I'll take everything inside. And again, you don't have to put this step in, but I like to put it in. So you're dividing everything in there by that common factor of 3. So the first will be 6a squared plus 11a minus, what's that, 35. And here's where I'd go with my middling method. I'm, I'm just going to guess and check. And, you know, it could be wrong. And you could use the AC method too, but... Uh, so 6, I'm splitting to 3a and 2a. And the 35, probably 7 and... Uh, um, Five, so seven and five. And let's make this one positive, this one negative. Okay, let's just check it. Six A squared, check. Twenty-one uh, A minus ten A does give me eleven A. Yes, minus five times seven minus thirty-five. Yep, yeah. yeah. So it's good. Okay, I need a fatter eraser. All right, um, oh, I erased my answer, whoops. So what was the answer again? 3a and 2a, and then a plus seven here, and a minus five, and that's my answer. Okay, so we always take a common factor out first, but it has to be common to every term that's in the expression.